This is Transformers 963, another review. This time Transformers Dark of the Moon, uh, Bumblebee Deluxe. So here you go. So here's Bumblebee's review. So here's the car, the box, I mean. Nice picture of Bumblebee on the back here. Him, his back tech weapon, his uh, uh, concept mode, uh, Camaro concept. So very cool. And then, um, sorry, just threw it down. So this is my third attempt at making this video. First, I started making the video. I got like three minutes into it, and then I realized I I didn't have, I only have like five minutes left on my um, recorder, on my uh, video camera, so I didn't, I wasn't going to be able to film the whole transformation and everything, so I went, uh, I deleted that video, I started it again, did the whole review, everything turned out great. The next day, which is today, um, I went to try to upload it, and it just wouldn't upload for some reason. That's only happened to me like one at a time in, the, in my entire life of using the camera, so I had to refilm the video. So yes, yeah, so here you go. So here's once again my nether attempt at making oh, a Bumblebee Dark of the Moon review. So here you go. So size comparison here he is with Roadbuster and um, Ratchet. As you can see here with Ratchet, he's much bigger and out of scale than Ratchet. Uh, he's much longer, but um, Ratchet's a bit taller. Here with um, uh, what is it? Uh, Roadbuster. He's about the same length. Uh, but a little bit fatter. I guess Robuster's a bit skinnier. So yes, yeah. so a very cool concept Camaro. I really like it. It's nice. It's um all tricked out for racing now. It's got the bars on the windows, just like the racing cars do. Um, and uh, and the the spoiler on the back. So that's cool. Got the nice back there. You got a little Chevy um symbol, and you got another one up here. Cool car. I really like it. Um, I was kind of hoping that they do the uh. The um, convertible Camaro for his new Transformers 3 um, car. I was hoping that because that's the newest Camaro. That's I've seen it a lot. So yeah. So I was kind of hoping for that, but they didn't do it. But whatever. Uh, you got the kind of dark gray, almost silver um, Autobot symbol there with these great rims on the tires. Oh yes, they look awesome. They're nice silver. They look really good uh, for the toy. So very nice. Not a lot of kibble here, other than you see his face. It's kind of empty right here. You know, it's got some empty spaces, but yeah. Transformation's easy, it really is. It's, it's quite simple. It's, you know, it's not the easiest. I find that Roadbusters has probably the easiest transformation ever. Um, but this guy has, it's very easy. So I'm really liking the new uh, transformations for Darker in the Moon because they seem to be much easier than um, before. So anyway, let's get started. Um, cool car. So anyway, so here we go. So uh, to get started, just want to open up the doors. Bring the arms out, you just want to pull them up and uh, rotate them like this or uh, like this well here you go so then just rotate them out like this so like this and then just like this just rotate them out just like that so that's pretty simple and then uh, just leave them out here extend it all the way so that it's out of the way and then I'll move the hands out and uh, that's all we're gonna deal with for that for right now open up the doors and that'll allow you to grab the roof and uh, just pull it off. And then rotate this under. Take this and move it up top. There you go. And now with the legs, you just untab them. And what you're going to want to do is take this, move it up just like this, and extend the foot. So take this, move it up like this, and extend the foot. And uh, there you have his legs. So very simple, as you can see. Rotate this whole assembly down pop up these uh, whatever the front of the car is, so they're kinda like this rotate this up just like this and then it just pops right into place once I get it in the right position at least it's supposed to normally you don't have to do a lot of fidgeting a fid fidgeting oh jeez I can barely say fidgeting uh, to pop it in normally it just goes and pops in I'm not sure what the problem is here though uh, so. I guess it, it just hates me. I think that that's just about it. So there you go. It just It kind of snaps in like this. Although I can't find where it snaps in. Which is strange. But, uh... Oh, there you go. Just snap it in just like that. Very nicely. Okay. Just uh, pull the arms down, but make sure they're up. So pull them down, but make sure they're up. Rotate the hands so that they're just facing forward and uh, with this backpack you're just going to want to try to put this under the tires so that it's like 
like this, and then this will stick up on top. And there you have Bumblebee in his um, alt mode, his uh, robot mode. So very cool. Really liking this mode for Bumblebee. It's nice. It's a it's a simple Bumblebee, which is what I really like. Transformation's fairly easy, as you saw. It's it's pretty simple. Just um just boom bang boom. It's just done. You know. I uh, like the back it's here. The backpack isn't too bad. It's pretty decent. It's not horrible. The front is very nice. I really like it, the way that this all ranges out. Um, it looks just very clean. Just a pretty elegant Bumblebee, really. It just um everything goes where it needs to. There's not a bunch of goofy gimmicks uh, with the rolling um. A helmet that goes down, with the you know axe that splits out, with the cannon that splits out. You know, there's none of that. And is there any big changes in Bumblebee? Not really, other than this nice glossy black up here, um, the silver face, uh, the abdomen area right here. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, also rotate the windows up. You can't put these windows up um, in uh, alt mode, just to let you know. In um, car mode, you know. So, uh, so yeah. Um, other than that, like Optimus, I recommended getting him, I don't know if I posted that review of him yet or not, but um, I, rec I recommended getting him because he's not just the same Optimus, he's got the uh, the new abdomen area, he's got the, the, um, the what is it, the like uh, boosters on his back, he's got the new forearm, he's got the new um, huge legs and everything, so I there was a lot of differences in the new Optimus. Um, this Bumblebee, there's not a lot of differences in Bumblebee, uh, it's really just pretty much the same sculpt. This is the only other Bumblebee I have, because I started collecting Transformers at the end of the sec- at between the second and third movie. So here it is. So as you can see, this guy's a little bigger, a little bit more detail, but um, but just uh, not you know, he's got a lot of gimmicks, and it's a hard transformation. This guy, it's not fun to transform him. I like this guy's whole center better. Um, I like his silver face, but I like uh, his the top of his head better. Uh, his windows are better, and uh, he's a bit bigger. I want a smaller Bumblebee, though. I always thought Bumblebee was too big for the others, so I'm glad we got this size of a Bumblebee. Um, and then he's got all the goofy gimmicks. You know, the gimmicks are cool, but you, they're unnecessary. We um, So, I like, um, I like this new thing, but since there's not too many changes um then uh, you know it really okay i'm so sorry i totally forgot to show you his mech tech weapon this has never happened to me but um but here's the mech tech weapon probably the best mech tech weapon that we have you just you cock the gun and then it just gets it gets um longer this bigger cannon comes out and the scope pops up it's a really awesome uh mech tech weapon it fits on his hand and it fit on the top of his car but anyway since there's not too many changes here there's not too many differences to bumblebee um the toy is obviously different but like the actual character doesn't didn't go through any major changes between the second and third movie um so i don't recommend him that much um I mean, if you are like me and you have one or two other bumblebees, this is not a bad one to uh, get. If you've got, you know, five, ten bumblebees, because they've released so many. If you have a lot of bumblebees and you're tired of bumblebee, then you don't need this one. If you're a big fan of bumblebee, this is one that you need to get. But if you've just, if you're just a Transformers fan and you have a bunch of bumblebees, you can pass up on this guy. Um, just, but it's a nice bumblebee. So if you're just looking for good bumblebees and you don't have too many other bumblebees because I only have one, you know, it's it's totally fine to get this guy, so yes, um, so yeah, so I do like this one, but it's very nice, but because they release so many, and people have like, you know, four or five, there's an 100% reason to get this if you have that many, so yeah, um, it clips on to his uh, arm right here, the gun, you can extend it like this, it doesn't lock into place, obviously, though, because he's a um, deluxe figure, but he's a really cool Bumblebee, so if you're a big Bumblebee fan, or you don't have too many other Bumblebees, highly recommended by me. So there you go. So that's my review. Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee figure. There you go. Thanks for watching.